just gonna take a cup of coffee. It's really hot. And I put vanilla syrup in it with my coffee because I'm crazy. And I live on the left side. It's, it's still too hot. <laughs> channel in today's video we're going to be talking about what you should be thinking about before you plan your wedding so if you're engaged or newly engaged or halfway through your wedding planning process but still want to know more then stay tuned because I'm about to tell you my top three things that you should be thinking about before you start wedding planning so the first thing you need to be thinking about is your wedding budget how much are you willing to spend? Are your parents involved on either side? Are they going to contribute? If they're going to contribute? What they're going to contribute? If so, in what way are they contributing? Some parents give you guys a lump sum and then you can do whatever you want with that money. And some other parents just be like, I'm just going to pay for the reception. Uh, you guys pay for the rest. So it kind of, it's kind of different per case. Some parents like doing that. That's how they bless their children. Some parents don't. I don't know what your situation is. But it's good to keep in mind that maybe you should sit down with your parents and have a little chat. So definitely that's the first thing you need to think about. Now I want to stress that you probably shouldn't be taking out a loan. That is in my opinion, that may not be other people's, but I personally think as a wedding planner, maybe you shouldn't take out a loan. I think you can do weddings at any price that you can afford. If it's 10,000, if it's 20,000, if it's 30,000, you can definitely do a wedding for those kinds of budgets. You just have to figure out a creative way of spending your money. Once you understand how much money you can actually spend on your wedding, it gives you a good understanding of your parameters of what you can and can't afford for your wedding. So the next thing I want to talk about is knowing the top three things that you want your guests to take out of your wedding. So whether that be your venue, your photography, your food, um, your flowers, things like that, that's something you guys need to be thinking about. And what I would do with those top three things is that's what you're going to be spending the most of your money on. If you want the best photographer, then you spend the money on the best photographer. If you want the best venue, then spend the money on the best venue. It's unrealistic to think that your guests will remember every little detail about your wedding. So there's no point in spending, you know, a medium amount of money on all the little details of your wedding. So what I would suggest is finding those three things that you really want your guests to take out of it. That's where you're going to spend the most money on. And the last thing you should be thinking about before you start planning your wedding is definitely your design and your vibe and your aesthetic kind of feels for the wedding. When you start researching wedding vendors, you start to see that there's actually quite a lot of us around and everyone's really good at what they do. They're actually all kind of amazing people who know their craft super well. So how do you differentiate between whether you go with one person or the other? Well, the easiest way is to figure out whether their design aesthetic meets your design aesthetic. That's probably like the easiest way to do it. It also helps later on during your wedding planning process when you start to get a little bit confused with what you should be doing and what you should be choosing. It's always good to come back to those two questions, what are my design aesthetics and what is the vibe I'm trying to create? Those two will help you figure out what you should be doing for your wedding. If you do like what I do, please give it a big thumbs up so I can know that you like what I'm making for you. Um, and if you really, really like it, then hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll get more content from me. Otherwise, um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.